Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Back to the Future is an iconic 80s movie. It has iconic cars, iconic soundtrack, and an iconic cast. Very iconic. Did I say iconic? It's iconic. Welcome to Sci-Fi Fans, and this is my not-so-iconic look at the uh, movie Back to the Future from 1985. There were a few casting choices and preferences, which I'll get to in a minute. Michael J. Fox was not the original actor to play Marty McFly, but I'll get to that shortly. Back to the Future premiered on the 3rd of July in 1985 and became an instant hit and dominated the box office for that year. Michael J. Fox was the first choice for Mighty McFly, but scheduling conflicts with family ties initially prevented him from accepting the role, so they empl employed Eric Stoltz. He was originally cast as Mighty McFly and filmed several scenes before the directors decided to replace him with Michael J. Fox. This was due to his interpretation of the character. Christopher Lloyd based his portrayal of Doc Brown on a combination of people Albert Einstein and the conductor from Leopard Storowski. The uh, DeLorean DMC-12 was chosen as the time machine because of its futuristic look and gullwing doors which Zemeski thought looked like it could actually fly. The film score composed by Alan Silvestre became iconic perfectly capturing the adventurous spirit of the movie. The film features prominent production placement for Pepsi including the memorable Pepsi Free scene. Michael J. Fox learned to play the guitar for Johnny B. Good and the performance that he has in the film, though the actual playing in the film was done by musician Mark Combell. Doc Brown's dog, Einstein, originally was going to be a chimpanzee named Shemp, but this was changed due to the, there being a dog at the studio, um, so they just decided to go with that instead. The Twin Pines Mall becomes the Lone Pines Mall after Marty runs over the uh, pine trees during the first trip to 1955, showcasing the film's attention to detail. The self-lacing Nike seen in the film's sequel was so popular that Nike revealed released a real version in 2011 and again in 2016 with automatic laces. So they can do it if they really want to. Claudia Wells plays Marty's, Marty's girlfriend Jennifer Parker in the first film, but Elizabeth Shue took over the role in the sequels due to Wells leaving acting for personal reasons. The script was rejected, believe it or not, over 40 times by various studios before finally being picked up by Universal Pictures. The film's depiction of future technologies, such as video uh, conferencing and wearable tech, has been praised for its surprising accuracy. And there are some things in Back to the Future which have actually come true. Thomas F. Wilson's portrayal of bully Biff Tamman was so memorable that it became a staple in pop, pop culture with Biff becoming synonymous with bully characters. The climatic clock tower scene took weeks to film and required meticulous planning to achieve the perfect timing. The film has influenced countless other works and remains a touchstone in popular culture, inspiring everything from theme park rides to video games. The iconic speed of 88 miles per hour for time travel was chosen because it sounded cool and scientific, though there is no scientific basis for the number. The film won the Academy Award for Best Sound Editing and was nominated for Best Original Screenplay, Best Sound and Best Original Song. The, um, the success of Back to the Future went on to spawn sequels, but they weren't initially planned for. Initially, this was just going to be a one and done movie. With the um, actual sequence to be continued as a title card being added in at the end of the VHS release, that was due to the phenomenal success and overwhelming demand for a sequel. So um, fan power rules. But it also made sense. Then, incidentally, when they made the sequel Back to the Future 2, they'd already started filming Back to the Future 3, because I remember when I went to the cinema to watch it, they actually had a little clip of Back to the Future 3 ready and waiting. So there you go. That's my um, video on Back to the Future. If you've enjoyed this one, you know what to do. Smash, and smash the uh, like button, subscribe, 
leave a comment in the box below. Check out my short feeds and um, yeah, thank you very much for joining me. I'll be back very soon with some more movie trivia. Take care and I'll see you then.